So now the question is, what helps you survive and reproduce in a 50 person tribe? So there's a lot of things that help you survive and reproduce, but one of the main things is social status. So I'm being kind of general here, but essentially the formula is, the more someone wants to hang around you, the more social status you have. So maybe you're very funny, and when they hang around you, they laugh a lot, and so this gives you social status. Or maybe you're very strong and can protect them. Or maybe you're very attractive. When you hang around someone with much more social status than you have, there's this gap and your body can kind of feel it. It can make you feel insecure and kind of like they could leave you at any second. So you've probably experienced this with friends. For example, with friends, you often want to hang around them and want to be close to them. But a lot of times, they want to hang around other people and kind of exclude you from the group. This makes you want to do something for them in order to fill this gap and keep them from abandoning you. So your mind makes you want to be nice and do favors for them. Now, I know you're a good person and that you like being nice, but liking is a feeling. Your mind makes you like being nice because it's thinking to itself, Whoa, I gotta do something to keep them from abandoning me. I know, I'll be nice. No one ever gets rid of a nice person. Alright, good. This makes you want to do something for them in order to fill this gap and keep them from abandoning you. So your mind makes you want to be nice and do favors for them. Now, I know you're a good person and that you like being nice. But liking is a feeling. Your mind makes you like being nice because it's thinking to itself, Whoa, I gotta do something to keep them from abandoning me. I know, I'll be nice. No one ever gets rid of a nice person. By contrast, their brain is doing the exact opposite. They don't have to do favors or be nice in order to keep you around. And in fact, it hurts them. The main way it hurts them is that if they start to listen to your problems or try to understand you, you may believe that the social gap has shortened. You may believe that you could demand more from the relationship and not do as many favors for them. This of course is a big problem. I want you to really understand this, that by continuing to act the way you are now, by doing so many favors and being so nice and being so subservient, you're making them not want to understand or listen to you. You're making them want to disregard you and to maintain that social gap. Now they don't do this logically. All they know is that when, for example, you hint at being suicidal, they get really uncomfortable and want to change the subject. Or when your birthday's coming up and you ask them to hang out with you, all they know is that they just kind of forgot and they think forgetting is very natural. But really it's their mind that's making them feel uncomfortable. Their mind is making them forget because you're not important to them. Their mind is trying to do what is best for their survival and reproduction, which in this case is be a jerk to you. So it's vitally important that you stop doing favors and you stop being nice. You can be friendly, but don't be overly nice or eager to please. Now you may consider this to be a little bit selfish. Well, it is a little bit selfish and that's okay. You're suicidal. You're in far more pain than anybody around you. It's time to be a little bit selfish, pay a little attention to yourself, and get yourself to a place where you're happy. Later on, when you're very popular, and you have a lot of friends around you, and they all want to do nice things to you, and they all want to do favors to you, well then, okay, go be nice back to them, and do favors for them as well. But for now, stop doing favors. So here's the rule. 
you can't do anything that will hurt more than it will help. So, for example, if a friend was to ask you for a ride, well, that will hurt more than it will help, so you can't do that. But maybe they give you a little gas money, you know, maybe they throw in 20 bucks. Well, now it will help more than it will hurt, so go ahead and give them that ride. But maybe you're uh, missing a TV show and you really like this TV show and you have to stop to give them that ride. Plus, you're really well off financially, so 20 bucks doesn't mean all that much to you. Well, now it will hurt you more than it will help you, so you can no longer give them that ride. Now, the fact that you like doing favors doesn't count. This has to be something that everyone would consider helps more than it hurts. So a good way to figure this out, a good rule of thumb, is to turn it around. Imagine that you're the one asking for your favor. So you're asking your friend to give you a ride and you'll give him 20 bucks, but he has to miss his TV show. Well, if he would say yes to that, then you could just assume that it'll help you more than it'll hurt you, and you could say yes too. But if he would say no, then you should assume that it'll hurt you more than it'll help you, and you should say no as well. Now, this will be really hard to do. Remember, your mind wants you to do favors and to be nice because it's afraid that if you don't, your friends will stop being friends with you. Now that's okay. Fear is not a bad thing. Something being hard to do or making you feel uncomfortable is not a bad thing. What's a bad thing is if you continue to hurt yourself by being too nice. What's a bad thing is if you continue to be suicidal. So great, implement that into your life. Remember, you can still be friendly, but don't do anything that will hurt you more than it will help.